Hi, my name is Jerry Douglas, and uh, my horse's name is Extra Dunstep. He's a wimpy with the all that's done. And all I can say about him is he's, he's an awesome horse. I just love him. He's, uh, he, was, uh, give, he was suggested that uh, I buy him from Casey Deary about a year and a half ago. And it was just before the Congress, and Casey called me up and he said, Jerry, I've got this horse. And he said, I think he would just fit well for you. And I, I'm, I don't know why Casey thought of me, or because I'm nothing, you know, in, in this whole thing. I've just been riding for four years now. I'm just a baby. And this, uh, four years ago, I stepped on my first horse. And uh, the first thing I thought of was just stay alive, you know, stay on that horse. But, uh, but then Casey said, this horse is really be good for you. And since I've had him, he's just done nothing but just win, 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 win. He is the most awesome horse. And so I thank Casey uh, for, for his suggestion. I thank Josh Tishman for what, you know, he did some training on him. And uh, so then I've had various trainers. And uh, this last Congress, I had uh, Keith Sadia ride him in the open and won first one championship in the open and then also won the uh, freestyle. And then just last night we won uh, primetime. So it was just, uh, like I said, he's, a, he's an awesome stallion. And, uh, and I really, I, I'm really having a time of my life, especially being a new rider. And, uh, but I, I think of the, the thing that I really have to thank is, is God, because you know, I don't think I would have won it last night without God's help. And, He's, he's, he's my helper. And then I've got uh, my, uh, my fiance, Jennifer, who is just, uh, she's just, uh, she's there all the time. She's been behind me for the whole thing, this whole thing, learning how to ride and just uh, going to these shows and stuff. And she's just been incredible to me. And so I'm just thankful for her and, and all the help that she has been. So. so what brought you to get on that first horse four years ago? Jennifer. She, uh, you know, she she has always had a passion for horses. And when we met, I was a fisherman. I loved fishing. I had a fishing boat. I did all of the, you know, circuit fishing stuff. And uh, and then I met her, and she had horses. And horses scared the daylights out of me. You know, I just I didn't touch a horse for two years. Uh, but then finally, I just thought, you know what? She loves it. So I'll try to see if I like it. I got on one of her horses, and was scared to death. In fact, my first ride, I didn't breathe for three and a half minutes, and uh, face turned purple. And for about the first year, I would come out of the ring, and the judges would even say, "You would have done better if you had breathed, if you just take a breath once in a while." But uh, so we're we're still in a learning process. And, but uh, that was the that was what re re really got me into it. And she's had she's got a little uh, Spook's got a whiz horse that is just incredible. And so I've just been we've been going back and forth on that and doing some of the smaller shows, coming here for one of the bigger shows. But uh, this is a real, this is a big thing for me. So where was the turning point that brought you from unable to breathe on the back of a horse to confidently showing? That was Angela, Extra Dunstep. He, uh, he just gave me the confidence because everything he does is just, he's, he knows his job. He knows his job. It was never any, any hidden, agendas or any crazy acts or anything he's he just knows his job and then I just became confident with him knowing that okay when we went into that pen yesterday I said when we were walking in I said we've got this Angelo we've got this you've got it and so I'm gonna do the best I can and we're to, together we're gonna do that and I was speaking that to him as we were walking into the into the arena and he did he just he did great spins he did some great stops and like I said, I'm still learning, and uh, he is, you know, he, he, he's been in this, in this thing a lot longer than I have, than I have been. He's eight years old, and, uh, and I've only been in it for four, so he knows his stuff better than I do, and he, and he did it. He did it yesterday. So who would you like to thank for helping you get here? Well, I'd also like to thank uh, Mark and Shannon Rafus. They're, uh, we've just started with them, and we've only been with them for like the, the time since we've been here. They have done incredible. Uh, Mark, took, uh, Mark took Angelo out uh, just prior to my run and just worked with him and just calmed him down and, and just, uh, just did incredible work with him. So we're really looking forward to working with, uh, 
with them in Florida. We're uh, heading right to Florida from here. Our original home is uh, Michigan, so we, we're, we're uh, doing the uh, snowbirding thing. But then um, I also want to just a uh, real quick thank you to uh, Trevor Dare. Trevor Dare uh, raised Angelo from the time he was so small. And he's put the, uh, I guess the, the excellence that's on Angelo right now is uh, a lot from Trevor Dare. So I thank him too for all that he's done. Mark Kellis had the privilege of being affiliated with the National Reining Horse Association for over 20 plus years. Uh, and fortunately or unfortunately, I've been representing Markel for uh, almost all those years as well. We um, are a very integral part of the horse industry. We intend to remain an integral part of the horse industry. When you look at organizations like the NRHA and NRCHA and other organizations that we have had the good fortune of representing, it's um, about what we can do for the people through the products that we have to offer. That being not only livestock mortality, but uh, commercial equine insurance, farm and ranch coverage, and also commercial liability and professional trainers liability. Uh, are they applicable to all? No, but that there are so very many people in the industry um, that can use what we have to offer, and I'm very fortunate to have a team of specialists that work with me for Markel, uh, our, our Western Discipline team, and uh, they offer products for people, Western horse people in particular, throughout the country. Uh, we have some other opportunities that are becoming available now um, with the hopeful addition of uh, a new organization and some new entities along with some other products that Markel offers as a corporation, their winery coverage, their camp, camp and uh, path coverage that we've been involved with for years. And uh, I look forward to the next 20 years representing Markel.